Up first, our top local story at 11. The family of a local man killed in a car crash is speaking out for the first time. Kenneth Freeman was killed this morning. He lost control of his car while driving on Route 295 in Johnston. Freeman's niece reached out to Eyewitness News tonight. Reporter Stephen Schuler is live in our studio with more on what she had to say. Well, the Providence native and lifelong Rhode Islander lost his life in the blink of an eye. Tonight, one relative tells me his love and legacy will live on. Jess Richard holds back tears as she remembers her 40-year-old uncle, Kenneth Freeman. The Cranston landscaper died this morning after losing control of his Jaguar on 295 South in Johnston. I got the phone from my stepfather, and I threw the phone. I didn't know what to do. I pulled into a parking lot, and I was just screaming for help. I didn't know what to do. Like my brother. State police say Freeman was traveling south near exit 5 just before 7 when he veered off the highway and onto the grassy shoulder. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt and was ejected as the car rolled over. Despite help from paramedics, Freeman was pronounced dead at the scene. His niece will remember him as a family man. How much he loved his family, his wife, his kids, that was his all. Freeman leaves behind a wife, a teenage daughter, and a young son. Richard says she'll think of him every time she passes the landscaping at Garden City, which he helped create. She's also holding a silver coin her uncle gave her when she was eight a little closer now. I love him with all my heart. I always have. I always will. He was like my big brother. He took care of me. Now, Richard says she's still not sure where her uncle was headed when the car crashed. This accident actually happened just yards from a rollover last Tuesday where two young women lost their lives. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.